Stan was very attractive. The girls all liked him, really. He and I were just really good friends. He told me his problems, and I told him my problems. We started dating. He took me to an Army-Navy game. That evening, he asked me to marry him. We went to Texas, Gary Air Force Base, where he would be training to become a pilot. That was his thrill. He had always wanted to be a pilot as a young kid. We got orders to go to Germany from there. He commanded this small airfield in Hersemensky. My husband and he became very good friends. He told Stan that he was building a turbine helicopter. I asked Stan, he said, would you be interested in test flying it for me? Oh, of course I would. They would take it up just a little bit and then do some more work and then take it up a little higher. And finally, it was up in the air and flying. He was a lieutenant colonel when he retired. We sold our home and decided we wanted to come back to Florida. We started five different businesses there. The uh, last one was a ceramic shop, and we had that for a little over 15 years. We had a good time doing all kinds of things, I'll tell you. I had a wonderful 59 years of marriage before he passed away. After he died, I spent a year there in the apartment and uh, decided I just was not happy there. A woman by herself in a, an apartment area, it's just, it's just people were not friendly. I moved in with my son and daughter-in-law, but it just was not working out. It was not my home, and I felt like I was intruding where my son lives. There were all young people living there and working all day long, so, and I, you feel lost, you feel lost, really. But you have to make up your mind to move on and find out which direction your life is headed in. So we sat and talked about it, and Mike went out and he checked out a lot of these retirement homes in the area. He said, Mom, I think I've found the right place for you. I actually heard about the Army Distaff Foundation back in Germany, and this was in 1959. I read the Army Times, and I read this article that they were building a Knollwood home for the retired widows of military people, and I thought, what a beautiful idea. Little knowing that I would ever even think about living here, the Army Distaff Foundation was founded in 1959 by our founding mothers who saw a need to take care of the spouses and the widows of Army officers that were killed in the line of duty. Over the years, that has evolved to allow for the officers themselves and then in 2014 for the surviving male family members. This is a beautiful military retirement home. You can do as much here as you want or as little. If I want, we got all kinds of trips to go on. You can do exercise, they have wonderful exercises. You can play cards, mahjong, which I really love. <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever be able to learn to play mahjong, but I did. People get here and they find a community of like-minded individuals with a common background. And you see that shift from profound sadness to profound joy due to a sense of community and belonging. I know there are other retirement homes, but none come anywhere near comparing to Knollwood. And really and truly, this is the place to be. While many of the residents at Knollwood are able to provide for themselves, some, however, cannot. And that's where the Armed Distaff Foundation comes in. We have several residents at Knollwood who are on scholarship from the foundation. And that covers their housing costs, their health care costs, food, and, and a living stipend. Once an individual is a resident of Knollwood, they're a resident for life, regardless of their ability to pay. So the Army Distaff Foundation relies on contributions to provide the care that we do, because we'll never do it on the backs of our residents. I feel that it is the Army Distaff. It, it shows that 
the people, the civilian people, appreciate what the military has done for them by sacrificing their time and life and energy, and it's doing so much good for people that really don't know basically what to do or where to go, and they see this place here, and it, it's like a light bulb that comes on. You walk in, and you can look around and see happiness. You walk in and feel happiness. You see it. I wouldn't want to live any place else, really and truly. The people here, you can't find a greater place to live. Thank you.